Porn Addiction – How to Save Your Child Pornography is a trap. It promises the pleasures of risk-free pleasure, but in the end has been shown to actually reduce the sex drive of those who become addicted to it. Young people today face challenges previous generations did not. The internet has made the most depraved pornography available at the click of a button. The problem is, watching porn changes the brain chemistry of the one who routinely views it. There is a rising problem of pornography addiction in teens. The negative effects of pornography addiction is even greater in teens as their brains are more susceptible to the chemical overload effects that come with continued viewing. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that is central in our drive for personal reward. When teens take part in stimulating or potentially addictive habits such as pornography, there is a flood of dopamine in the brain. With repetitive increases of dopamine released into the teen brain, it is rewired to crave the same effect. Teen brains are the most sensitive to dopamine at around age 15 and react up to four times more strongly to images perceived as exciting. A teen's brain is at its peak of dopamine production and neuroplasticity, making it highly vulnerable to addiction and rewiring as their brain is not yet finished developing. The real problem is addiction. Long-term use of pornography actually results in a lowered sex drive as real women with normal bodies no longer hold appeal. Psychiatrist Norman Deutsch states, Pornographers promise healthy pleasure and a release from sexual tension, but what they often deliver is an addiction, tolerance, and an eventual decrease in pleasure. Paradoxically, the male patients I worked with often craved pornography but didn't like it. Addictive behaviors provide escape from the pleasures, stress, and even boredom of daily life. Addiction provides escape from reality. This is the true danger of any addiction. If youth are equipped to handle stress in constructive ways, they will be less likely to seek the emotional crutch of escape to deal with the pressures of normal daily life. Following are six ways you can help your child form a character that will withstand the seductive allure of pornography. Provide a healthy home environment. All addictions, including pornography, are methods for escape. Make sure your home is a welcoming refuge from the world, where love, support and non-critical acceptance are always given to your children. If your home is not a warm, welcoming and encouraging place, your child will be drawn to find refuge elsewhere and porn provides an easy escape. Home should be a place to escape to, not from. Teach deferred gratification. It is extremely important to your child's character development to instill the principle of deferred gratification. Deferred gratification is taught in early childhood when a child learns to obey when mummy or daddy says no. Distracting a child rather than teaching him to learn no is one of the most harmful ways a parent can raise a child. It actively teaches instant gratification by enticing the child away from what he wants by offering something else that is even more desirable. This does not develop strength of character in the child. It only entrenches the belief that he can have anything he finds desirable. When children run the home by easily persuading their parents to give them the desires of their heart, then there is nothing to stop the child from getting into porn if the opportunity arises and the opportunity will arise. A recent statistic said out of 813 adults from 18 to 26, two out of three agreed pornography viewing was acceptable. 86% of the men and 32% of the women used porn. The percentage among women is growing. A child allowed to indulge in instant gratification will be bored by anything that requires commitment and hard work. He will grow into a self-indulgent adult who seeks for nothing more than instant gratification in all areas of his life. Teach your child that actions have consequences. A child that is never held accountable for what he does wrong grows into an adult that knows how to get away with anything. 
This will impact every other area of his life, including his spiritual life. This starts in babyhood, when a child is not taught to obey the very first time mummy or daddy says to do something. Too many children are taught they can disobey until mummy or daddy's voice reaches a certain decibel. This may be instruction by default, but the child is still learning that it is acceptable to disobey until mummy sounds angry or daddy is yelling. A spoilt child who has never been held accountable for doing wrong will grow up thinking rules and laws, including Yahuwah's laws, do not apply to him. Such an entitled mental attitude is an open invitation to porn addiction. Actively instill the values you do want in your child. Christian parents frequently think of their child's heart as a garden. They put exhausting efforts into rooting out every unsightly weed that crops up in the fertile ground of their child's heart. The problem is, if all you ever do is weed, you will simply end up with a barren plot of dirt. To have a beautiful and productive garden requires more than just weeding. A beautiful garden will have a variety of flowers for beauty and fruits and vegetables for nourishment. Such a garden is both beautiful and useful. But such a garden also takes work. It requires planning. It requires actively instilling what you do want and then nurturing what has been planted. What sort of young adult do you want your child to be when he is 18? Start planting those things in his character from early childhood and actively nurture them as he grows. Have an honest talk with your kids. Never, ever, ever lie to your kids. Let them grow up knowing they can always come to you for the truth. Have open, age-appropriate conversations with your kids from a young age. If they cannot come to you for information, they will get it from their peers and that is not a safe place for learning Christian values. With open communication established, explain the dangers of pornography to your growing kids. Pornographic images are so easy to access online. You will need to have this talk before they hit puberty. Tell your kids the danger of pornography. Explain that the best way to avoid addiction is to never try it in the first place. You are the parent. It is your job to monitor the child's entertainment. The long-term consequences of neglecting your role as parent can be loss of jobs, loss of marriages, and a deeply unhappy, dissatisfied life when your child reaches adulthood. The habits learned in childhood, for good or for evil, stay with and influence a person all life long. Teach your child self-control. Self-control is arguably the most important thing you can teach your child. A child that is taught self-control will grow into an adult that puts the law of Yah ahead of personal desire and duty ahead of personal gratification. People who are not taught self-control in childhood have it imposed on them when they are older by external forces. Adults who have no self-control end up in prison. The government imposes the control he lacks by removing his freedom of choice and incarcerating him. Self-control begins with the baby in his mother's arms. An 18-month-old that is allowed to throw a temper tantrum and yell and scream and kick is being taught lack of self-control by default. An 8-year-old that is allowed to be rude when he is sick and not feeling well is being taught lack of self-control by default. A 14-year-old that is allowed to raise his voice and yell when angry is being taught lack of self-control, again, by default. Failing to teach self-control is one of the greatest disservices a parent can do to a child. It carries over into every single area of life, including the spiritual life. Choosing to obey Yahuwah requires strength of character that only comes from self-control. If you cannot overcome a temptation on your own, it takes the learned behavior of self-control to choose to ask Yahushua for help rather than give in to the desired temptation. Sin always starts first in the mind. It is harbored in the imagination. Then, when an opportunity presents itself, temptation without meets corruption within and the person sins.
This can be directly traced back to a lack of self-control. One of your greatest jobs as a parent is to instill in your child the principles of self-control so he does not become enslaved to the changeable desires of his lower nature. Even in the godliest homes, with the most careful parenting, youth can still fall prey to the seduction of pornography. This does not make you a bad parent, nor is it too late for your child. However, be aware that you are dealing with true addiction. Dr. Donald Hilton writes, We need to treat pornography and sexual addiction as a full addiction, and not from a behavioral spiritual perspective alone. Individuals struggling with pornography and sexual addiction must understand that because this is a true addiction, they will not be able to stop unless they seek help from appropriate sources. The rationalization that this is my private sin and I can resolve it privately with God will only produce escalation of the addiction and entrench them in a double life. They must have the personal desire to seek and obtain repentance and recovery. If you discover that your child has become ensnared in pornography, you can still help free them. First, do not respond with anger, disgust or tears. Don't shame or humiliate your child. Children and youth are younger members of the royal family of heaven and should be accorded dignity and respect. Be calm, kind and understanding. Treat your child just as you want Yahuwah to treat you when you make a mistake. If you too have struggled with pornography, you can share what has helped you overcome. Let your child know he or she is not alone. Nurture your child's trust. Now is not the time to parent with tough love. Tough love only encourages youth to lie because they know they will be punished anyway, even if they tell the truth. Pornography by its very nature is a hidden, secretive vice. Do not give your teenager a reason to be even more secretive. Be a safe haven for your child to come to if he is struggling and needs help. Explain the dangers and problems with pornography. Tell your child how watching pornography actually affects the brain chemistry. Get a qualified counselor skilled in dealing with sexual addiction to work with your child. Remember, because of the changes in brain chemistry, you are dealing with a true addiction. Limit computer access. Keep your child occupied and physically active. Pray, pray, pray. Praying for your child is a divine mandate. When Israel insisted on having a king to be like other nations, Samuel's inspired response is an example for every parent dealing with a struggling child. Moreover, as for me, far be it from me that I should sin against Yahuwah in ceasing to pray for you, but I will teach you the good and the right way. If you are not praying for your child, who is? Many youth stumble across pornography and become addicted through ignorance of the dangers. If they are never taught self-control, if they are never held accountable for their actions, if the home environment is not a supportive refuge from the world, youth are far more susceptible to being drawn to the escape offered by pornography. Intentional parenting. Knowing the kind of adult you wish your child to be and working toward that goal is necessary if our children are to be overcomers. A child who is taught to make his decisions based on principle rather than on feeling will grow to be an honorable man who lives a principled life. Even if your child is almost grown, it is not too late to begin equipping him with the tools to live a godly, honorable life in the fear of Yahuwah. Yah will bless every effort you make to raise your child for him. Angels will cooperate with you in raising your child to live an honorable life consistent with Yahuwah's law.